drugs. So they're just on drugs the whole time? I don't know. I didn't watch it, but... Civil War sober. Sober this time. The Civil War sober. But it's just a comedy in the Civil War. All right, nice. I'm yeah, back. That's We're what back. I'm saying. My dream movie is back. Did you... What's the, what's the premise of their movie? It looks like a buddy comedy in the Civil War. Yes, that's not bad. What the hell? Why not? Yeah. They did a movie? Why does Kids You Know did a movie? Or is it a sketch? Yeah, I think it was like a series of sketches on their old show. I saw the one with Lincoln a while ago. When that guy died. Oh, no, it's, one a, with it's a full-length movie. movie. Yeah. That's a, that's a funny one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a full-length movie, but it's about uh, two got two stoners. It's like a stoner comedy of the Civil War, and they think it's over weed. They think the fighting's right, over different. weed. Yeah. But it's still a buddy, buddy Civil War movie. True. Go, yeah. uh, mine's different. Buddy My, Revolutionary. Also, mine's written. I wrote it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was just like, buddy, Civil War movie, done. Any other movie ideas? So got good. it. So good. I go into meetings with people, and they're like, what do you what do you got? I'm like, I got this. Buddy, Civil War movie. You're an idea, man. And they're like, Dad, do you have any pages written? I'm like, yeah. You have like, to ask McKeever. <laughs> or just like writing's kind of like outmoded in terms of like yeah. my creative process. I'm more of like a I, I'm more of like a storyline. I have like I have like more like sketched out on index card. I have like, I know exactly. I don't what I'm I don't know if anybody in comedy is worse than I am at meetings. Really? I I suck, dude. Yeah. Every meeting, every general meeting, all these dumb meetings you got to go to. I'm. It's crazy. Yeah, dude. I uh, zooms. I'm just sitting there, just like. <laughs> The meeting's supposed to be me giving them ideas that they. I just sit there. I'm like, nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you guys want to work with me? Start interviewing. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, do you want to work together or not? And like, who, I did, who I did are do you? A Zoom meet. I did do a Zoom for when I was in Denver to do like press for the show, and I did a Zoom for I think it was called Colorado and Company. So we zoomed up, and I just like, I I I don't know. I was just tired, and it was like I was talking to one of my uncles. I just gave him the same answers. Was like, well, what do you? What's different between like podcasts and stand up shows? And I was like, I don't know. It's kind of Nothing. Funny. They're both kind of funny. It was the worst. I think I gave the worst interview ever given in life. I was just like, uh, yeah, they're both, uh, you know, they're both funny, I, I guess. Rochester local news Zoom. Yeah. It said Sean Gillis. <laughs> and my internet was breaking out. And I was just like, you know what? That's it. <laughs> I was in a hotel room at 7 a.m. just holding a phone on the local news. Just like, like what? so what got you into comedy? What, what style of comedy do you do? What type of comedy? I don't and know. I'm just doing just in the I'm not it's too early to even be funny I couldn't be smart enough to be like Jeff Dunham I get puppets like you know what I mean I was just like ah uh, it's like topical conversational I, was, I felt like I was talking to my aunt at a family party I was it's like yeah crazy. it's uh you know it's just something because you, you are that's essentially the exact same brain it's a local news person be like so you're a funny guy were you always funny growing up be like yeah I <laughs> Yeah, I got in trouble a lot in school. <laughs> it's so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> that, that was the last one I ever did. And the owner of the club was there. He was the one who set it up. Yeah. And I walked in and while I was on stage, I was like, could one person clap if you saw me on the news today? Oh. Anybody that bought a ticket, clap if you saw me. No, Not a single clap. Oh. And the owner was in the room and I was like, stop making people do that. <laughs> I don't, yeah. That's so funny. As I was like, could one person clap if you heard me on the radio today? Yeah, not a single no person. One. Those dudes stand by that shit. Yeah. And so do like old agents and managers. They'll be like, that's, a big that's actually a good market for radio. It's like, yeah. nowhere's a good market for radio. Yeah. Yeah. And it, Knock yeah. it off. Yeah, I feel like anyone who listens to radio still is just one of my family members. Yeah. The only right, people that's gonna still, are going to be my dude, cousins. Every time I think about who's listening to the radio, I think of a guy in traffic on 76. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing I can think of. It's a guy in a truck on 76. <laughs> Yo, I'd love to make it down there, but I'm stuck in and traffic like, for 12 oh, hours. Oh, this guy sounded funny. I'm gonna, I guess I'll go to the comedy club tonight. <laughs> I'll fucking, I'll go to a comedy show for the, I've never heard of stand-up comedy. I listen to the fucking radio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't how do I got how do you buy tickets to something like that do you call them a truck. how do I find it's their a line number of trucks outside the comedy club yeah. pulls up yeah. <laughs> that guy was pretty funny on the radio today what are tickets $980 <laughs>
<laughs> and I got to buy two drinks. <laughs> like, Service fee. I'd like to see more of him. Yeah. I want to see what he looks like. All I could hear was how fucking hilarious he was in yeah. four minutes on the radio at 7 a.m. Pulls and sleeps at a rest stop, wakes up, fucking showers. Like, oh, and fucking shit, I got to get to that show. I got to shower at Love's. <laughs> <laughs> I got to freshen up at this Love's. Just oh. Full belly of Slim Jims and Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm coming down to the Adam. I got to see Adam Friedland tonight at Helium. <laughs> just sitting there. Just, what the fuck is this? <laughs> He's not as funny as Bart and Jim in the morning. <laughs> Where's the fucking sound? Where's the sound effects? Why isn't anyone asking him questions? Where's the girl they sexually harass the entire time? <laughs> yeah. Tell them. Tell us about traffic. <laughs> When's he going to tell me about traffic? <laughs> <laughs> it is such a waste of time. It's a huge waste of time. <gasps> Interviews like yeah. new newspapers. Yeah. I had to do, I've done written, there's articles. Yeah. And I had to sit there and be like, uh, I think I love, sna like, yeah, crazy. That is, that's, that's, I feel like going forward, you should just go like, just make something up about me, man. Just pretend. For sure. I just don't do them anymore. Or just be like, send it into um, ChatGPT. Just be like, let, write up questions and just send the questions to ChatGPT. <laughs> Here you go, dude. Yeah. Here's everything you got to know about me. True. That's just use Indian Indian news articles. <laughs> Shangula's girlfriend? <laughs> His net worth is $750 million. <laughs> Is he gay? <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. talks a lot about sex stuff. Yeah. Who doesn't? He though? must have sex stuff. No, I actually don't. That we're much. just sending information back through the fucking soup, dude. We're it's time to go back to soup. We're, it's we're almost soup time, soup. dude. I'm ready to get back to the soup. Yeah, we're carrying we're carrying salt water within us, dude. We never escape the soup. We will. We're seventy five percent salt water yeah, walking dude. around, dude. You know what? That's why they laid eggs. Why? Because they they eggs were always underwater, oh, and they were like, so "How do we do this on land? Oh. Maybe we develop a way to lay eggs." That's kind of sick. That's why they lay. That's why the eggs are filled with. The ocean. What the fuck, dude? Did you ever think about that? What the fuck? Did you even know that? I didn't know that. Eggs are filled with the ocean. <sighs> All set. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, eggs aren't even filled <laughs> with... <laughs> no, but don't nobody care about the motherfucking ocean. Yeah, uh, baby. Where are we at? That's, Let's, some, uh, that's something I wish black people would get on I just to. Wanna, I just want to get a read on this. Yeah, what time? Are we... I'm not trying to 45? end 45? Oh, I knew it. We're flying, dude. This is a good one. <laughs> Dude, I can tell when it's good. Yeah, I, I wish black people would hate would stop with the nature hate because they all sign each other up for like you can't don't like fucking nature. squint at that, dude. You guys hate nature, man. Black white people, people are crazy. Look at them out there talking to fucking animals. Black people don't hate nature. You dude. guys hate it, dude. <laughs> you don't hate nature. Get that goddamn dog out of here. Where are those dogs? <laughs> dogs aren't nature. Camping. All right, yeah. camping. What about white camping? people be crazy. I don't sleep outside. By the way, I'm actually outside with black people on most of nature. Dude. I I love the camp. mountain climbing. Suck my dick. I'm saying it's Sky, uh, fucking camping. Suck my dick. No skydiving. I'm saying skydiving's way out. Crap, way out of yeah, line. Way out of line. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying I've watched black people talk other black people out of like doing like an outdoor excursion. Like, yeah, you can have that. You can go outside and sit with all them motherfucking bugs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> uh, again, I'm totally like, don't, with don't try to like use some cultural force to knock someone out of something they might like. Yeah, I don't think. Well, answer right. for your Dude. people. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for your entire race. Yo. It seems like a city black thing, though. It is a city black thing. Yeah, That's a city you can go black country. Thing. Yeah, you can go country. You forget. You can go country. <laughs> Man, he's so country. Uh, yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. As a black dude, you can go country. I think that might be the sickest shit ever. Hunting black people? Yeah. Remember we were down They're south and all the black people were dressed like our dads? They're the coolest. <laughs> they were they had fucking like pulled up flannels. They oh, fucking oh. hiked the jeans up. Southern black dudes wear like fucking acid wash jeans. <laughs> oh. Of course it shrives you. Oh, man. It ruins everything. I couldn't imagine trying to present some like Adderall penis to a woman. I, I've I've t sometimes forgotten I've done Adderall Ooh. and be like, nice. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna have sex. You have an infantile you penis have, when dude. that shit happens. Yeah, it's like a hard one. It's gray. You have a I tiny thought, gray I, penis. It's you have a gray. tiny gray penis. Is, you have a gray dude, penis. It's totally bloodless. <laughs> Comatose. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fucking Bamstad, dude. You're, you're fully <laughs> presenting a bloodless cock. I, oh, I do not drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole time in Australia. Yeah. <sighs> James. Damn it. <laughs> Dude, uh, when, he, when he fucking drops that fork on a date and goes, damn it. I wasn't going to use that anyway. <laughs> that was the fucking, that was the best. I wanted, for the record, I was obviously joking about ripping lines of coke after stand up feeling like God. That was, I mean, I, I could imagine joking. you would feel like God after you did. No, you like don't that. feel like God. You feel like a fucking dumb gay idiot. <laughs> You're like, Dude, what am I doing? People have jobs. I'm up here like, oh, my, uh. You go up there, you go, I drink wine. <laughs> I did not drink wine. <laughs> He's the best all the time, hands down. Yeah. James is the best. From Love on the Spectrum? Easily, dude. Someone came up with an idea. It was on one of the like clips of YouTube. They were saying they should pitch him a spinoff or have him a spinoff on Netflix where he just goes to Ren Fairs and just reviews different Ren Fairs. That would be a good YouTube channel for That'd old James. so fucking good. Yeah. It... it when I watch that, <gasps> obviously, like, it's a show. <laughs> I would like for them to give me the whole perspective on those boys where it's like, there's, when you're seeing Michael and you're seeing these dudes, like, there's a fucking demon, but they go full-blown yeah. super yeah, They're not going to show it yeah. embarrassing. They got to. But I, no, I, I dude, I am getting, I was spazzing on Billy last week because I am getting tired of the bread and circuses and the fucking Christians of the arena, all this Nathan for you bullshit and all this fucking, <laughs> all, all this shit, know, like showing the dude. fucking autists. Yeah, right now. It's like all these autists and all this shit. It's hey, like, yeah, that's like, the fuck. Like, Days dude. like today, I fucking cursed the Chinese for inventing gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like Nathan for you? Like, all I'm trying to do is watch shit like that Nolan Ryan documentary. You know, like an actual fucking goat. And it's like, all they're, tra- all they're tossing up is these fucking retards. You're saying there are a lot of pretenders in the field of autism. I'm not saying he's a pretender. I'm just saying, like, dude, stop glorifying this shit. That yeah, Nathan... Yeah. F- that no, I never saw this Nathan for you show Billy's telling me about. It's very funny. But I started watching the... Uh, I watched rehe- it on Mushrooms. It's fucked up. The rehearsal one. Like, the new one. And it's fucked up. He's got kid actors. He's doing some crazy shit. Oh, dude. no. Yeah. I never saw that. I'm not with this new show. Yeah. I never saw the old show, but... Old show was funny. Bill old show was funny. Elaborate. It's just a fucking crazy show where they make people rehearse shit over and over again. Yeah, it's fucking bizarre, dude. And they they trick they trick guys like us. I mean, they did that in the nineties <laughs> with they did that in the nineties with nerds. They like they made nerds cool. I mean, do you remember Mystery of Love? Yeah, on VH1. What was that? On VH1, Mystery. Of show. He had the big fucking yes. uh, goggles and shit, and all those dudes. He's, He's like, you just, you just got to go out. Like, that's what I fucking hate, dude. He Gerben, did get Gerben got work. tricked by that. He did. Gerben yeah. was going out peacocking. It's infuriating. Gerben would get. He got a big belt buckle, Jeez. double. Yeah, fucking, have, I don't right. have have just you, like an Acapulco's fucking leader. Is he, <laughs> is he yes. a good looking? Do, is he a good looking dude? Mystery. Like I'm saying, like Gerben. Like he's a good looking dude, right? No. Or no. <laughs> I do. I don't know. Like, yeah, you know, Gerben's, Gerben's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's like handsome. Him, right? yeah. If you were, if you he were a Jewish have... mother, if you were a Jewish mother, yeah, you'd be like, that's the guy. You would be like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, he doesn't have to do any of this stuff, right? No, he. Was I mean, just... we all had to do put on the belt buckle in night. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't have hurt any of us to have a humongous belt. buckle. I had on. one humongous belt <laughs> buckle. Belt belt I didn't have one. No, no. I did. Tom gave it to me from South. You were just wearing one. You wear, you wear like rodeo belt buckles. Don't, what do you mean? What? What, dude? what no. rodeo belt buckles? I have a custom you do SDI. Neg. You do nag. I have a custom SDI you neg belt. Girls. You love you're a neg. PUA. Huh? You're a PUA. PUA. I mean, you're, just, you're, you're, a, you're a poor boy. Come on, Oose. Oose. Get, Come on, Oose. <laughs> Come on, Oose. You're a poor boy. I had one big belt <laughs> buckle and it was in school. Tom got it for me on South Street. It just said stop snitching. It was a huge stop sign in school. It's pretty sick. sick. It's pretty sick. Did it have bullet holes in the stop sign? No. All right. This is a big metal belt buckle. That's pretty sick. I'm not a. I don't. I don't fancy myself a pickup artist. You neg. Definitely peacock. Yeah, I mean you ha- like it's just friendly banter. Mm-hmm. Does it work when you neg girls? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit. Ah, oh, I wasn't gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, no, I wasn't. Gonna I got keep, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a negger. <laughs> <laughs> He next. Yeah. It, I mean, people people do that, and it, it just happens in conversation. I'm just getting back out to, like, going out and stuff and being, like, normal You're around you. You're back to it, dude. You're no, I'm saying time. being normal around, because there was a while. Like, You're I was going out. I was like, damn, dude. I just shouldn't be out here. Why? I shouldn't be out hunting. What, what, what's the, why not? Shouldn't be out hunting, dude. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big <laughs> up artist, dude. dude. Fucking <laughs> chill, dude. Dude. Me hunting. Tell me about these girls, dude. They killed a party or what? Huh? These girls are fucking <laughs> whores, dude. I shouldn't be out here hunting, uh, dude. Get the fuck it. Would you, ca- would you catch yourself on? I mean, just like now, it's like two spoons. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> no. I eat with two spoons. I eat my oatmeal in the morning, two spoons. That's how I go out. I'm just fucking grubbing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you pig. Huh? <laughs> And then it's just me and an Uber like, why the fuck is this guy going down 2nd Street? No one. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, that's how, exactly how, how it works. How for real? If you go out, what, like, how confident are you that you're going to bounce somebody from one never. location I've back never, to the house? I've never went on a hot streak. I've never done anything like that. Have you ever bounced somebody from one location to the other? I've done that. You've bounced? I, I got bounced one time. Uh, I was 20. Wait, what's bouncing? Bounce is when you like get girls to leave a place and go to another place. It's like... It's like uh, really critical in building trust. And like, if you get them to go to one place, like not like, to your hey, house, come meet me at this bar. Yeah. You're like, let's just fucking oh, go somewhere just, else. It's and that shit freaks me out that dudes plan this shit. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's totally a natural thing to be like, Hey, I'm going to this bar. You want to come there? I think a girl tried to do this to me and I was like, nah, this place is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you want to go to the rent fair? It softens the thing of like, rather from one bar to my house, it's like, go to this place, let's go to this place. Hey guys, drinks at my house. If you guys want to come to my house, my sick bachelor pad. And then. I, I did That's this with like a 33 year old Puerto Rican one when I was 23. I was at, or you can 20, take it straight back to the crib. Probably, no, no, I didn't. She took me to, um, the Yo, one pound cheesesteak place. She probably had sex experience. She did. So what and happened? Her and her friend brought one me up to Roxborough. One pound cheesesteak place on Lehigh Avenue. Did you suck it, dude? I fucking <laughs> yeah. I was I forgot about that. I I pissed on the outside of it. And then I went up the rocks, bro. Her friend took a piss outside of the car you with like the door. Calvin. A girl took a piss? It was disgusting. Oh, fuck. That's and hot. then she took, a, she took a shower and her friend. Underneath brought, her friend's piss? No, 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 no. She took a shower. <laughs> when we got back to the place in Roxborough, she took a shower. Her friend fuck. got a CD player and put on Miguel CD. Oh, yes. And then I ate yeah. her out. <laughs> All right. Was your friend there while you ate her out? Her friend was in the other room. <laughs> yeah, what an abrupt end. But dude, but no, no, no. It, it was. It was great story. Great. Put her on CD yeah. and then I ate her out. That was it. <laughs> but this chick, Miguel was, this chick was like 35 and she had to drop me off on like 18th and Norris at like, six in the mo- or like 7 in the morning. Good for her, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah, big time. Just take someone home and get your pussy eaten. Listen to your favorite song. Old Bill. That's it. You that just ate her bill. pussy. Why didn't you get her to touch your penis? I, she did. I I think okay. like that. That's. A, I don't think we had sex. I can't. Well, remember. I mean, should she? I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Did she suck your penis? I f- almost positive that happened. Good oral yeah. sex. Yeah, we just had mutual oral sex. Yeah, wild <laughs> bill. Yeah, that's the best story ever. It was cool. A beautiful mommy. Yeah, dude, she's so experienced. Yeah, it was sweet. She's probably so well rehearsed on you. Maybe I don't know. Did you don't. Do stuff you don't me? even. You, that to you is just some throwaway experience. That's a fucking. It was. Awesome. It was very long ago. You were twenty. Oh, it's so fucking hot, dude. You're a little humper. Yeah. You're a little humper, dude. Just a wee fella. So Matt, now Matt's you, just greedy for the stories, dude. Yeah. He's so now you go out. <sighs> he's greedy for stories. Yeah, he's greedy for stories, dude. <laughs> so Look at now his pillow you, place. Now dude. you go out and you're like, I'm a predator. I'm here to. You're here to hunt. Start clicking. Yes. No, I, I, I've never, I've never. <laughs> Bill just becomes visible in the middle yeah. of the room. <laughs> I've never, I've never had that confidence where it's like, I'm going to go out and fuck whoever I want. I'm That's so part grateful. Of the boy, though. I'm it's so like, grateful. Shucks. Yeah, you're Native American. Yeah. You eat all the pussy. Do you ever go out and do that stuff when you were no, single? No, 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 no. When you were single, like, what's your, what's Shane Gillis doing when he's single? <laughs> no, no. Do you see me up there? I mean, yeah. When you, <laughs> <laughs> you hit him with that? Moths to a flame. Like the set? <laughs> pretty easy and then you do capture some moths how cra- <laughs> it's pretty much just moths how crazy how crazy was it when you went from bean boy eating beans in the basement to yeah. then like chicks were just like i want to have sex with you what was that like that's a big jump i know that's what i'm saying like, that's fucking insane it it makes you relax a little bit chill yeah, out like, maybe all these other guys aren't gay <laughs> Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Because I spent, you spent a decade going, fuck everybody. Yeah. A couple get, of Hermes was full. A couple, couple BJs, you're like, all right. Yeah. Pretty once sweet. You, dude, once you start getting play. <laughs> true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. True. Guys, once you start getting play. Training. Yeah, I just go, fuck it. I'm, I've just been reading a book. I have a little nightlight, and I read a book at nighttime. The, the book I'm reading is nasty as fuck, though. What is it? It's called Stalking the Wild Pendulum. It's pretty What's tight. It about? It's just about this dude from like the 1920s who was like... He, he, like, dropped out of... What's his name? It's, like, Isaac Bentov or something. He dropped out of, like, eighth grade and then came, went on to become, like, a patent-holding scientist. Nice. Dude, all of his information is just from the astral realm. This dude is so... Fu- he, <laughs> dude, he rules. Look up, stalk, look up the guy's name. I forget his name. Someone gave me the book. What was the title again? Stalking the Wild Pendulum. He talks about... Talks about a lot of stuff. But levels of consciousness and how, like... 
the more the higher level of consciousness all of consciousness is is just a resp- Isaac it's Isaac what's his last name Bentov nice it's Isaac Bentov it's Isaac Bentov dude yeah and he holds patents look up his patents dude he holds like medical patents or something eighth grade education where do you nice. get the information he claims just from fucking deep space deep space came and delivered him yeah he's just like oh yeah i just meditated upon like, him like he, dude this dude is it's the wildest shit i just read it at nighttime and bug myself out what are his patents um no, it's spaghetti. Nice. yeah <laughs> come that, on the now. aliens come on now the come aliens on. up there were like you need diet <laughs> spaghetti. What else we got? Uh, that's one he's what is, uh, okay what yeah dude pacemaker lead yeah, the uh, diet, well, first shit, of all, dude, not... diet spaghetti and then brake pads. Yo, he's man, he's trying to fuck is this guy? What is diet spaghetti, by the way? I'll look it up. It was the first thing. It was the first thing that came up. I mean, that's pretty good. He was alive in the twenties. So, guys, yeah, yeah. First lose patent, weight now. First ask me how. That came this up could, is be, for diet spaghetti. This could be your dude. He rules. He was like no more gluten's. No more gluten's at all. Astral all right, realm. All right, check. Got the spaghetti done. Now no it's problem. time to focus on brake shoes, brake pads, or and whatever then, the fuck that is. I don't know what brake shoes are. There's it was no break information shoes? on diet spaghetti. Yeah, of course not, dude. They had, they took that underground. That's your boy. He went. He just went gluten free. What the fuck is diet spaghetti? So his the 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 point of the book is just to let people know that like it, I'm not all the way done, but it's basically there's more than meets the eye to this thing, and he comes at it from like a scientific as as scientific as he can get. Although he knows he has haters the whole time. He's like, you might be laughing at this, but this is just a deal. It's pretty funny. But his his thing on consciousness is that it's good you read these. Oh, I, we got to reinforce this. We need to. You might think it's funny, but this is what it is. This is what it is, dude. I like. Don't that. fucking laugh. You, you guys think, think it's a fucking joke? They think it's all these material. These fucking oh, material. I hate the material. I might be a bit of material. You th- you're no way. I'm growing. You're not a I'm materialist learning. at all, dude. Do you oh, think con- I believe in spirituality and con- beauty? Yeah, of course, dude. Yeah, true. What else is there, dude? True. He goes he goes into the Big Bang theory and how it's basically the universe is expanding, but it's just a mushroom cloud. And it'll reach a point where then it'll just start falling back down on itself. Yeah. And then it condenses into a black hole. And then blows up again. And we shoot up out the other side of a white hole. Oh. And it's just it's just a never ending thing. It's that's a that's that can't be his theory though. That's, that's no like no that's a, that's an old that's, that's an old a common. One. But in the twenties he was far he was kind of, that's like a, that was kind of a far out thing. True. It was far out. I heard that at the Harrisburg area community college. Did you really? Then I went home and got drunk with my friends and I was like, dude, it expands and then comes back together. Yeah. And you could relive this exact life for in, infinity. So you better make it the most of it. True. Black hole, white hole, dude. It all it's so yeah. the, it stretches space time and it gets so heavy it condenses into a tiny thing and then it goes poof, out of the white hole. Shoots out universe, of the white hole. Right into the black hole. Pretty tight. But he was saying consciousness is just your ability to respond to a stimuli. So if you're like a fish and I tap the glass, it's a low level of consciousness. It just I agree around. with that entirely. So yeah, pretty pretty basic. But he was saying your higher level of consciousness is more your drop down menu when a stimuli present, like, is presented to you, you have a larger menu of options mm. to respond from. Then he starts talking about how then there's like non material bodies and consciousness is kind of separate from the human body. It's just right up my alley, dude. A lot of consciousness talk, and I, I it's tough for me to grasp. So it would be like when it comes to like, does a rock have consciousness? And no. Well, there's an energy exchange between rocks and plants, so it's 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 not What's the that? human level. So it's basically they're exchanging like your uh, like mycelium will tap into rocks and take like the minerals it needs yeah but how does that have anything to do with the rock though the rock's there dude it's low very low level dude very but low how level. could it have any consciousness of that i don't know i don't you know i don't know i don't I, get I don't the rock the f- having consciousness type thing it's very it's minute dude it's very very low levels it's just like i mean a crystal is a self-organizing structure nobody tells the crystal how, how to like form itself into a thing yeah but how does that have anything to do with consciousness it's self-organized it's choosing on some level to take that shape and to kind of expand this way versus I don't that think way. it's choosing to make itself like that it just does maybe it. how though what guides it that's a big but it's again this is all I don't know enough about crystals but probably whatever minerals make up the particular crystal combined. a mineral a crystal is just the purest form of any mineral okay so you so get whatever rock. it what whatever it's made out of Mm-hmm. It probably just naturally does. It's a that. mystery, though. We don't know exactly why they, as far as I know, I should say. Yeah. We don't know why they grow this way or that way. So you think they are deciding? I don't know. I my, I don't think it's just crystals. I'm not I, trying to like catch you here. I'm oh, trying to understand this, my friend. I don't. I don't worry at all. My friend. Here's 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 is my. How this dare is, you, dude? My friend. What? Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> here here's my here's the way I look at it. Here's here's the way. So. You get a filthy materialist like O'Connor 
saying he is. human consciousness is just, they call it a meta phenomenon that just rises off of a purely physical process that's inherently meaningless. So we just have sparks and like neurotransmitters, a soup of things that's going on, and it produces our reality that's more or less just this thing you can say, yeah, you can discount it. It's total bullshit. But this tiny little bit of material, our brain produces this thing called consciousness, but then you get all of the material of the universe, which our brain's made from, that doesn't produce consciousness. It's like, okay. I doubt that. I highly doubt that's the case. What's uh, Who's the black dork scientist? You, know, you, ever, you ever see that tweet Norm hit does, him with? Does he go against... Con- I'll Look, tell you, you're going to like it. You know what I'm if your little brain can produce your reality, you're telling me all the material of the universe doesn't produce a greater, larger consciousness that we can't comprehend? It's like, get the fuck out of here, Neil deGrasse. It's, kind of, it's like the books about stuff like that. <laughs> you're going to like this tweet. Did he really? So Neil deGrasse Tyson tweeted... The universe is blind to our sorrows and indifferent to our pains. Have a nice day. Norm, Norm replied, Neil, this is a scientific fact. Or he said, is this a scientific fact or is this just an opinion? I hope I don't sound combative, but this blunt aphorism... Ah, oh, fuck, that's not the right one. The hell? Yeah, get involved. Ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> he goes neil there's a there's a logic flaw in your little aphorism that seems to be quite telling since you and i are part of the universe then we would also be indifferent and uncaring perhaps you forgot neil that we are not superior to the universe but merely a fraction of it nice day indeed oh Ooh. damn norm just chilling at home just hitting with an ah. <laughs> the what's, what's this queer talking about <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's you know, it's the books about stuff of that nature. Yeah. Pretty tight. I, I'm gonna I'm going on stuff I don't I'm gonna that. jam O'Connor, dude. That's all I'm doing. I I actually talk. will sit in. If you're Please. if you're there to jam O'Connor, I'll join. I mean, I'd love to hear his answer to that. Yeah. I'll just shut up and just look at him. No mic. I'm gonna <laughs> sit right there. I'm gonna take guard dog spot. I just wanna watch you jam him. Good luck jamming him though. I mean, Tommy will jump in. Too. Tommy would be, he'd love it. It'd be this. I'll be Ken, I'll be Kenobi dude with the blindfold. Just fucking nothing. We're not planning anything. <laughs> Talking consciousness talk. You guys take, you start to attack not at all. Not at all. What's we're Tommy going to jump in on? Nothing. Conscious. We're talking. This consciousness I guess we'll talk. see. Aren't you having Matt on Stuff Island tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'll talk- jump in. Maybe get a fourth mic. Have a little fun. Oh, well, I have the fourth mic. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> we're talking. That'd be sweet. We're talking consciousness, dude. Just get ready, dude. Um. Yeah, dude. Let's read these dumb ads. Oh shit! Yeah, where are we at? Uh, I think we're coming up about an hour. Guys, guys. Matt and Shane's secret podcast is brought to you by Raycon. Oh, yeah. time to get your whoa, Jesus Christ, Raycon! Time to get your fat ass outside and <laughs> shake things up. Whoa! And no matter how much you shake, Raycon's earbuds will stay right where you stick them. Yep. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> uh, I actually got the earbuds. Yeah, I mean, uh, they look pretty good. I, I listen mean, to them. I use I them. Mean, you use them? Yeah, they're I nice. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I'm like more. Them. I'm a wire headphone guy. Be honest, full disclosure. Yeah. So I'm like, because Brittany bought me wireless headphones once. And I was like, I don't like these. <laughs> this is not the. No, no. I put them want. in. <laughs> I put them in. No, I'm. Tell- I'm personally. I'm, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah. I'm being honest. I'm a wire headphone guy. Brittany makes fun of me for it, but I need. I need the security. They do stick pretty well. Nice. They stick pretty well. Sticking well easy. is incredibly important. And they like. I have weird shaped ears and they fall out. They're in there pretty good. But again, nice. full disclosure, classic wire. All right, no more disclosures. <laughs> <laughs> but they were good. No. Like, Brittany tested them. She, she's a wireless headphone person. She liked mm. them and I listened to them pretty good. Raycons offer eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. That's nice. Base I'll tell you why that's nice. Yeah. Because when I get on the aeroplane yep. and I'm trying to listen to porn, a book about Marquis de Lafayette, not porn, dude. <laughs> Lafayette. Ooh. And two hours in, three hours in, it, it can't have that. Do. No, they're high quality. Fuck, now bro. I got to sit on this plane in silence for five minutes. No, high quality. They buys me cheap shit. Yeah, all the time. and they're priced just right. The, you get quality audio for half the price of other premium mm-hmm. audio brands. Mm-hmm. Right now, our listeners can get fifteen percent off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash drenched. That's buyraycon.com slash drenched to save fifteen percent on Raycons. Buyraycon.com slash drenched. Yeah, only super gremlins rock the fucking wireless headphones. The Raycons. Dude. Just warning. Yes. That's Super Gremlin status, dude. One in at all times. Oh, yeah. Fucking rules. That actually is. And the gremlin. phone call is good, Classic too. Gremlin. I tested out. The, I, did, oh, I did a full test. Oh, you do phone calls? I was did afraid to ask because I haven't tried them yet. Nah, you do the phone call. Take, the phone calls are good. 
Really? Yeah, I tested that out. I, dude, I'm I'm a fucking you're a Raycon guy. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, I gotta give the full I gotta give the full experience, dude. I, you know, so I, I did the phone call and everything. That was a big one for me. I'm like, how the fuck can phone calls get all yeah, the way up to Yeah, I don't understand that. So weird. They use hope in that. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. hope, dude. That uh, gambling addiction gets people sometimes mm-hmm. if they're not using the right app, or you can have fun and use the yeah. right app with DraftKings.com. If you're not using the right app, the problem with gambling addiction is when people use like. Fanduel, yeah, Fanduel. That's a big. That's for addicted one. people. Oh yeah, don't <laughs> unless they want to start sponsoring us. More is than DraftKings, yeah. the only one live in New York. No, Fanduel's live. Oh. Yeah, but Barstool is working on it. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I've heard. Yeah, so but DraftKings, you, see how we you better those... up the fucking prices, bro. Yeah, you see how we listed jumping. those numbers though. That's what will stop everything from people. You know, if you get down on your luck, Beezer, call them. The hotline. Don't double right. down. Don't double down. Oh yeah, call. you've been betting. Yeah, I've been all right. Call the what Tennessee are hotline. Who are you betting? I fucked up NBA. Who do you got? I'm done with NBA. Super Bowl right now. I would take the Rams. I took the Rams myself. But I, I, I'm still gonna. I dude, I put like one bet in. That's I nothing. believe it's. I think the uh, which McCall is gonna win. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, I know who they're gonna win. Who? Who is it? The Bengals. Yes. You the Bengals are gonna win. The Bengals are gonna win on the under. The Bengals are gonna win by three. Oh, yeah, you say, so the old Matt Parlay, mm-hmm. we forgot to include this. This was in the Patreon, which we accidentally read reads on. We're going to be talking to our yeah, – we'll we're going to get some money for that. <laughs> we'll what? For his predictions? Uh, Matt's, Matt's got a good parlay on DraftKings, which is the Bengals mm-hmm. getting four – or no, money line. You got money them winning, winning straight up. Winning. Straight up. He's got Bengals money line and the under, under 48 and a half. Yep. Is that what it's at? Yeah. That's not bad. I like it. Dude, they could win. Defensive straight battle. Up. The Bengals are a defensive team, dude. They got a good defense. They good, yeah, I mean, they're in the Super Bowl. They got a good defense. You're safe to say they, they've got a solid day. Sometimes Who else do you make... like? What else do you like about them? About the Bengals? Who? What, where are the matchups you see? What players do you – what specific players on both teams? So, the quarterback <laughs> of the Bengals. You like him? I think he's pretty – he's gap, young. He's young. Gap, the Joey gap. B. Yeah. Joey B's young. You got to get the But gap, he shows yeah. promise. Yes. Sometimes a young quarterback will surprise you in a big game like the Super Bowl 56. <laughs> Super Bowl 56? Super Bowl 57. When's the last Super Bowl? No, it's Super Bowl 56. Yeah. Who's the last quarterback that shocked you in a Super Bowl? You remember young Tom Brady in 2001? Oh, man, that was they crazy. They said, no way this guy can beat the Rams. I was just going to say that. Show enough. Young TB. Who would have thought? He's done. TB12. I have a lot to say about his retirement, but I won't take up you guys' time. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who else you got? Uh, I think, so yeah, that guy's going to be, that young quarterback, he, he, Joe Burrow. Ken Shock, Joe yeah. Burrow. Yeah, he's I got think, a wide receiver you'd like. His name's Jamar Chase. He's pretty. I've cool. seen him. He's cool as hell. Yeah, he's the coolest one. He's pretty everybody cool. thinks Joe Burrow is Mister Cool. Yeah, I mean, I he, hate when other people get to shine for being Mister Cool. It's the Eminem effect. It is the Eminem effect. Yeah, he wore, you know, wearing a chain. Yeah, turtleneck. It's cool as hell. I'm king of the good times, not Joe Burrow. Heard that. I'm the king of the good times. I heard that, but I do think that the secondary. <laughs> The secondary is going to have <laughs> prop, secondary the secondary <laughs> on what team from the uh, Bengals. The secondary is uh, they're going to have their hands full with, with the, OBJ and Cooper Cup. Cup is a beast. You, you like Cooper Cup a lot. I know he's about the white him. hope, dude. Yeah, yeah I heard about beast. him. He's all right, but I got for Stanford, dude. He can, he can ultimately. I think the I think the Bengals secondary is going to get it done against the you know the Rams deep threat. The Rams will have some impressive runs. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> You can check us out on DraftKings.com. Yeah, DraftKings, baby. I do like your bet, actually. I'm telling it's not you, man. Bad, the man. under and the Bengals money line. I if you hit this, I'm going to fucking... That tonight's going to be... And if I hit it, I'll get like $9,000 or something. Didn't they say they'll give me like You'll 10 get a times lot. the amount? Well, no, that's just for... I think if you just pick the winning team. Okay. 56 to 1 odds. Oh, cool. But I think... Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to get into the terms. Sure, don't get into the terms. Don't, I don't want to have to go... I yeah, would hate to get into don't the terms. Don't get back into legalese. ...of our sponsor. This podcast is brought to you by Lucy. Yes. And sports Stuff. <laughs> sports. But the Bengals Sports Tigers. and nicotine. Yeah. Dude, Um, I'll tell you what, man. I mean, those are things I do love. This is true. I'm addicted to sports, too. Yeah, these are your passions, dude. Those are my passions. Don't, don't let anyone wrong you for your passions. Who's Bees. wrong you? All types of guys are yeah, turning on. What? Because you guys are doing ad reads? No, nobody's. nobody's, yeah, nobody's actually, nobody's everyone's very fuck. happy and nice. For yeah. Us. Um, um, thank you guys please. for everybody being so, happy and nice. Brian, when's, what's going on with your yeah, sex man. life? Let's let's get in there. Let's delve into your penis. Yeah, what's it's going up? Going good. Hotel tonight. I'm pumped for that. You're gonna Ooh. lay the. You're gonna lay the pipe. I'm gonna try to. Yeah. 
What's what's your what's the art of seduction? Okay, we've been through this. <laughs> yeah, I did this so last time. He was already Brian. grilled him about sex. No, Can you please so tell us how funny. you seduce? Well, yeah. What's dude? I'm I don't have to. I, I if you're I in a relationship up... over three years, I don't. You don't need to seduce. Oh you yes, you must do, seduce. Dude. You must turn nah. up your. Then seduction. you're doing something wrong. No, no, no. You must turn your seduction up at that point. Yeah, you can't just constantly take the pussies. No, it's almost like writing jokes when you start out. You're writing every single word, and now it's down to like one or two words. It can yeah. get you like ten minutes. That's gotta... me. I'm like with a look. Bro, you gotta you, you go gotta, like that to your lady. You gotta stoke Drenched. the cold. You gotta stoke the cold. Yeah, yo. <laughs> she goes, yo, B, you got me all wet. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stoke the cold, yo, bro. B. My pull, yo, B, my pussy's all wet now. She's like, yo, I gotta go. I'm fucking warm. Yeah, yeah, like what? <laughs> How do you stoke the coals, dude? <laughs> Tonight might be tough. Why? Because well, she's There's working. There's gonna be a lot of booze tonight. Yeah, and it's like the Beezer's penis is gonna be off. She's, at, she's with <laughs> that Ari. thing's gonna be offline. Ari might be shutting it down for me, which sucks. What do you mean? Because he, she works for him, so like she's doing shit at the show. Like you know what I mean? So she wants to be on point. I can't. You can't yeah. be fingering. That's at the, the perfect like, time. That's the perfect time though. Because then you can go by and be like, "I'm your true master." Yeah, ah, I'm your true master. grab her by the back of the neck and say, "Bitch, you better start." Yeah, go. <laughs> I'll whisper to her, dude. Like, you <laughs> bitch. Dude, you should make it a point like every couple seconds to just like walk by her and just like kiss her neck aggressively and just keep yeah. I might stand out on stage when Ari's up That would be so nice. Rush the stage. Pull Ari off the stage. Dude, I'll jam. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you should start. Every time I see you and Kyla be affectionate, I'm very happy. Good. I go, ew. I know. It's very fun. Dude. Ew. I will try. I will try to big J Ari. That'd yeah, be funny if I was doing that, but he was too far back. I'm like, hey, <laughs> go up and grab his penis. Like, yeah, go up and grab his penis. penis. Give me this little leg. Grab his penis. I, dude, I, uh, I crab swirled a youngster in uh, Indianapolis. There's a boy and his paw at the show. No, I just relentlessly talked about his dad having sex. With his <laughs> what? And he didn't like it. Well, he was he was out of the room, so I'm talking shop with the old man, being like, you know how it is, bro. And the son <laughs> walks in, and I go. Oh, sorry. I was just talking. I was just talking about your dad having sex with your mom. What age are we talking? How old is he? He's probably college age, maybe. Okay. Like, oh, you, know. you got to get over it. That's what I was saying, yeah. dude. But he he wanted earmuffs, dude. The boy wanted earmuffs, and I'm like, dude, your dad better be thrashing, dude. So, good looking, pa, or no? I would I would say the man was a good looking. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say you know I'm not gonna trash the man's looks on live hmm. air. Did but, you ask to see their mom? <laughs> I should have asked to see a pic. Yeah. Yeah. Just one pick. Well, the worst part was I kept hammering on this, and they, you know, they obviously were uncomfortable, and for, there was like a little, they got a little worm being like, oh, "I hope she's alive." Dude. Oh so like, man, she's not alive, and they're being the nicest people ever, and yeah. I kept. Oh, being like, I wish she was. You dead. old man's going. <laughs> to you know, fuck her ass. Well, I did leave out a little wiggle room. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I should dead. be if like, you went full she died harsh. of colon cancer, actually. Oh. Yeah, dude, I started thinking about that, and I was like. But I did say, well, I don't know your guys' situation, so I was ready for them to be like, yeah, she's dead. Okay, my Which bad. Which would have been great. I know. It would have been very funny. True. I ran into some buzz saws this weekend. Did in the you city. really? Oh, my God. What'd you get? <sighs> Worst show I've had in about five years. At the stand? The stand upstairs. The stand's great, by the way. Yeah. The stand's great. I love the stand. Worst show I've had in, bro, it was oh. upstairs, so it's in that glass yeah. fucking yeah, wall. Fish tank. The restaurant's loud. <laughs> The room was just white girls in their 20s. Oof. They didn't stop talking. <laughs> Start to finish, dude. Yes. I got on. They were all at different tables talking to each other. Yeah. I got on. I was like, okay. Like, the fuck. Do we do? Why are we doing this? Why would I be here? It was that loud. Dude, they did. They hated my fucking guts. Start to finish. Didn't laugh once. Talked the whole time. At one point, the check spot happened. So three waiters come in. Just start giving everybody their checks. They're women. So you know how like when we go out, somebody will be like, I got this. Yeah. When oh, girls oh, go out, shame we're yeah. dividing. Yeah. Who got this? Mm -hmm. Who's doing this? I'll Venmo yeah. you. It's like, well, don't you have cash? Dude. Oh, it's brutal. Nightmare. So every table is having a girl fight over the tab. Girls at that point start getting up, going to the bat. Like five Dude. different girls got up. Jesus. Dude, Christ. I was literally just standing. At one point I stood. I saw the timer. I stood for 30 seconds in silence. The room kept talking. Do you think that's... It was the worst set I've ever had. Why do you think... Is, do you think that's because girls are inherently greedy or because they don't know how to do math? Do you think the check comes? One of those. <laughs> a little bit of both. Do you think the check comes? They're all like, uh, you want to do it? Yeah, uh, usually a guy's <laughs> here. Uh, the tips. Uh, usually a guy's here to pay it. Usually <laughs> a man is here to pay it and figure out the fucking 
tip, all that. <gasps> oh man, We're they. Doing... It was. And it's also, crazy. I didn't it's always care. a fight. It's always a fight. I didn't care enough to fight them. Yeah. To go up there and be like, you fucking dumb bitches don't even get how cool I am. Yeah. Which normally I would do, which is very cool. Obviously. Upstairs, though, I think it's Upstairs is tough. Yeah. It but also, there. that was the worst. I, that was. Any kind of he hair? can't really. He does yeah. better than me. But <laughs> he started talking shit. What were some shit. of the things he would say? I don't know. He was like, you got shaved the, your hair, both of them. Things like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. It's just bad. Classic. But yeah. yeah. And uh, anytime he made fun of me after that, I would just be like, ooh, 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 ooh. I just kept making fun of him for oh. crying. Now, he had a nickname growing up that his one aunt used to give him called Flippy Dippy Doll Baby. What? That was his nickname. The Flippy Dippy Doll Flippy Dippy. Where the fuck did he get that from? Uh, his, I don't know, he hung out with his aunt. He had like a blind aunt that he used to play board games with. I swear, did your dad grow up on cheap? the prairie? He really did. It sound, every story you tell me about him. First off, like, he's from the hills. All right. True. Now these are hill people. I know you're not used to something like this. More these like are a hill, plateau. hill and creek people. I'm talking about hilly. I'm up from a hilly. Nah, you, you have like ascending hills that go up and you know. this. You, if I showed you the Conanaguina Creek and the hills surrounding it, <laughs> you would be out of your fucking mind. All right. So don't talk to me about hills. All right. I mean, I, I, do you ever use like the two, the like drive two and three? I, I, the hills are so crazy around me. I, I don't even barely even drive in regular drive. I got to go to two. I have three. to switch my crews into sport. Do you really? Yeah, he'd go down to the S. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. I can go two or three. <laughs> I got downshift, fucking oh. automatic. Come on, man. I love shifting in my Same. car. You um, have a drive stick? Yes. Nice. Yes, to you? Yeah. I bet we I had, both, I we both stalled the fuck out right now. I would. I had a stick shift car for like a couple of years. Really? I bought it without knowing how to drive stick. I, I stalled hard for many yeah. days. Dude. I did. When I got a car, fun. when I got a job at uh, Honda. Oh, you had a drive? And I had a job at the auto auction. And they'd be like, can you move this car? Like, somebody go move that car. I'd be like, no. So you learned under fire? Yeah. I kept getting yelled at. Damn. And then somebody, this this old older gentleman taught me how. Did he really? Yeah. Drove me around. Yeah. It was pretty nice. Yeah, I, I, I valeted one night, and a stick would pull up, and I would be like, you got that. I'm like, yeah. just, just park yourself. It's also a funny thing for people to be like, Psh, you don't even know how to drive stick. It's like, yeah. Yeah. They don't make those anymore because they're useless. I drive luxury vehicles that I've, shift themselves. I've only dri I've went to the finest private institutions <laughs> i never had to drive stick because my parents worked hard okay did you ever see buffalo 66 he's like you don't drive stick shift he's like i drive luxury vehicles that shift themselves <laughs> everybody in europe drives stick yeah it's it's, it's and they brag cool. about it. everybody that drives stick never shuts the fuck up about it driving gives stick. you more control dude come on it's it's for pores, dude. It's just, it's for pores and euro trash. Yeah, I don't do it well. I know when get I get rid of it. it. I ever, when people will comment on me. <laughs> I ride me. I ride my clutch a lot. Yeah. People are like you want to get a new clutch. I'm like I'm gonna get rid of this. I thing. don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm That's break, what's I'm happening. Break this fucking go kart, <laughs> yeah. dude. I forget what I was saying. So you're with oh, Flippy yeah. Dippy Flippy Dippy Cry Baby. That's he would cry a lot. Now he's Flippy Dippy Cry Baby. He used to be the Flippy Dippy Doll Baby. Was he was he a sensitive child? I don't think so. I was a sensitive. child. I think child. he grew up a gremlin. I think he was forced into. a... Becoming a monster. He still can be a sensitive child. I would, dude. I used to cry if I got. I think he was a bill type. He was the young one oh, of the brothers. Okay. I think he ended up being just a mean. Cut it off. Yeah. Yeah, I used to strike out and kickball and just like cry, strike out, cry, go inside, like that. come back. Mom would bring me out, be like, "Mask got to play," and I'd be like, "I'd be like, fuck his fucking son." Damn. Suck. Okay, if I struck out in kickball, if they like pegged the ball at me, dude, I, not even like the ball getting pegged. <laughs> just the fact that like I, I didn't make it to first base. <laughs> fucking cry my eyes out, dude. I was screaming, crying. My I remember my parents' front yard playing kickball. Kick the ball, and I'm like, "This is my big chance." Make the first base. The ball comes like boom, right in the belly, and I was like, "Oh no!" Get out! And my mom would come back out. Come on, let Matt play. And I'd be like, "With your, <laughs> it was just your brothers and cousins." <laughs> yeah. Oh man, how old? I'd be were like you? shorts. I was probably like fucking five, maybe five, no, six. Okay. Probably six, honestly, five or six. Dude, baseball. Go when ahead. I, I'm older when I'll I was shift when that. I was dude. in baseball, dude. I would cry. If I struck, if I struck out and like, baseball crying is totally acceptable. eighth grade baseball. It was yes. just a total fight to not. Well, that's because you just got humiliated in front of everybody. <laughs> you stood at the plate. You couldn't even fucking hit the ball three times. <laughs> I'd go down looking, dude. I went down looking a lot. Oh, dude, I used to I bail. Eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> I to, if the ball was Man. anywhere not in the outside, I would bail first. I would bail. They strike, and I'd be like, sure. Yeah, but come on, heater. ref. Come on, that thing almost that thing skimmed my nose, dude. You're talking about a strike. 
You just got to fight the ump every at bat. Oh, for sure. Just yeah. argue 100%. Yeah. No, but Gain yeah. respect, dude. Get ejected That's from true. games. I used to do that in gym class. What's the, that? The gym class teacher used to ump, and I used to just every fucking play, I'd be like, are you kidding? This is bull. <laughs> dude, it was so fun. I used to get throw, him fired up. Just get fired up, throw my hat down. I'd be like, are you kidding me? Just hold the whole game up. Man. Pretty tight. I was, I've been pretty excited about the guy airdropping porn so much that the captain had to come on the air. The pilot had to go on the intercom and say, stop. Well, he was probably trying to look at his phone. So I think it's, all, it's probably all True. autopilot. True. He was probably texting. Like, <laughs> it was probably him. It was definitely him <laughs> texting. That's great. It's probably him. Man. You, you think anyone ever texts while they fly? I think it's on autopilot. I think you can kind of do whatever you want. I think probably. you just like get it off the ground. And you just there's no sure. way. Like That has to be career <clears throat> ending. Yeah. And there's definitely, yeah. You think they have yeah. like? You think the co-pilot's basically a Jamie? They're like, how tall was Paul Koresh? Like, yeah, look that up. Co-pilot. I got it. put it on autopilot. Okay. Take a look at that. What do you have? What do you think they do the whole time? You think they like talk? I bet it's the weirdest conversation. You think? Just two like dudes that think they're professionals. I don't know. It's probably like two managers at like car dealerships talking, <laughs> like that level of like. Oh, so how are the kids? Oh, you think so? I'll tell you what I do. This is what I do. I take. Uh, you know, you know, and then just garbage advice of some weird habit that they do. Yeah. Like, think, have you ever been out there? Have you been out to that golf course? It's a nice course frauds. out there. No, I think they're dorks. Yeah. Well, some of them are like. Air I think they rule. Some of them are like Air Force dudes. I think. I think if you fly those planes, it's not a cool. It's not a fun job. No, it's not. You just fly. It's like driving a fucking bus. At the, like it's and it's easy for them. Yeah. Like it's not like it's a hard thing. No, it's very easy. They probably like the turbulence. It's probably the only True. time they're they're like, oh thank God. Yeah, a little excitement. This thing, I might kill all these people. <laughs> Fuck. I always I watch the fucking uh, the stewardess's face is like a hawk. Yeah, that's what you got. Turbulence. Read. I'm like, is this bitch put on a poker face? Does she yeah. know we're going to? As I always oh, just dude, watch. Their I got face. on this plane last night, and these, the gay stewardess, mm -hmm. the, steward. and uh, the steward, yeah. Stu, <laughs> and a gay guy in front of me, mm -hmm. passenger. Pat, civilian yes he was in the seat right in front of me and then another man straight i could tell by all their voices yeah they were scream talking about like fucking hiking just what like i've never experienced anything like like for fucking like 20 minutes like it was just two of them screaming and then another dude jumped in they were talking about hiking what very are loudly are you this was delta okay very loudly and then just a dude over was like, my fiance and I start, we were going to do Kilimanjaro, but this whole damn, uh, you know, COVID thing, now we can't. And I'm just, I'm like, kill yourselves. Because they were doing? They were having like a lively public Couldn't believe that they were doing that. Yes. You should have shut it down. You should be like, I almost thing. thought about jumping in and just saying something. <laughs> just fucking, I literally thought about filming it. I thought about filming it because then I, it would be a funny video to oh, just be, be like, fucking hilarious. you guys ever, uh, and just, <laughs> you should have, you, know. you should have. You ever, you ever guys get bit by a goddamn rattlesnake, dude? Yeah, something like that. Because they wouldn't, they'd be able to say nothing. I'd be like, yeah, shut the fuck up. You see how annoying yeah, this true. is? The guy in front of me was wearing like a Disney hat, too. Yeah, would fuck you up. Yeah, they could, they, they'd be tough. Yeah, Wolverine, dude. It just runs. Yeah, that's tough. That's tight as hell. I could be wrong. I think I saw it on planet Earth. I think Wolverines literally just fucking run all day. I'm a big mongoose head. head. I'm mongoose, a mongoose head. fucking awesome. Watching mongooses eat a snake is so mongoose, fucking... Mongoose versus cobras, dude. Yeah, it's, it's about as cool as it gets. Yeah, that shit's, that shit's tight. That's what I like about honey badgers. They yeah. just they run up, it kill cobras, they get bit by them, they like get knocked out by its poison, but it doesn't hurt them. What the fuck? So they'll just pass out. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, they're fucking wild. They attack like lions. That's so fucking tight. And lions are like... You know how dumb you have to be to be like the dumb animal? Like yeah. honey badgers yeah, are like yeah. morons. Like yeah. even lions are smart enough to be like, get the fuck out of here. Out of what here, is this? Thing? I'm not eating you. Like I could just Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. It's it makes me happy. Fun. That is nice. I like thinking of dumb animals. Like it's I had best. a dog named Shaq. Yep. Might have been one of the dumbest fucking dogs of all time. Really? Yeah, we have a bad track record of animals With in dogs? this house. Tibble. Tibble, dude. His, <laughs> Tibble's a fucking his monster. Filth remains. His filth remains. I'm not picking that shit up. That's for Phil. <laughs> You're going to no, leave I'm that not, for me? I, I absolutely have to pick that up. Yeah, you're not going to leave that? Makes me feel bad. I put this burden on my family. A I just dropped Tibble off, and I said, Mom and Dad, i got to follow my dreams of becoming a stand-up artist. Dude, you know what you got to do? I said, I'll never be a Sean Gardini-type superstar. <laughs> do you ever tell your parents how much of a superstar you are? You're like, Mom, look how many followers I have on Instagram now. <laughs> <laughs> dude, my, st my stomach, dude, I got a vicious, 
I got a vicious crap lined up. in this up. basement? I'm going to have to go upstairs to my parents' bathroom and Ooh. uncork a vicious shit. That's not bad. <laughs> you should tip it. I was making Phil laugh with that. You should. You should. I was making Phil laugh with that. I was sitting there. I was talking to my girlfriend. I was like, pardon me. I have to go upstairs and uncork a vicious shit. <laughs> and he was in the kitchen like, <laughs> he was trying so hard. You should like, tip. Hey. Dude, start tibbling on the rug and be like, yo, what the Just fuck? Is <laughs> you, dude, if I took the, the, vicious, the vicious crap that's lined up, if I drop that down here, it, <laughs> like, it, it, you'd smell it on the third floor. <laughs> it would ruin the house. Just wipe your ass <laughs> like <laughs> It would ruin the house. I mean, that's probably like vomiting in a car. If you human shit in a house, it's going to be human shit in any the basement warm day. Of a, in a carpet basement house. Oh my god! Especially it's like humid kind of down yeah. here. It's pretty fucking disgusting down here. I apologize. So it's a good basement. It is a nice basement. It was great when I was a kid, dude. Oh. There was none. None of that shit was there. It was just party time. Yeah, finished here. basement is so it was party time. time. It wasn't. Fin- there was concrete for a long time, that's and that was just though. a pole. Yep. But it was fun. I used to go. I a couple kids hit that pole. We would set up wrestling right here. Couple kids have gone into that pole. Shout out Ian Johnson. I used to do pull ups on the on the metal beam down in my Whoa, basement. Dude, I never did pull ups. Pull ups. We'd skateboard down. There. We would get like a four we by four. We tried to skateboard right here. Did you really? Yeah, right when Tony Hawk came out, we came down here and they, oh, you know what? There was a car. It was a green, the thinnest carpet possible, and then it was just kind of oh, you had that eight. stuff. Yeah, you could still skate on that. And we were trying our best to to do a kickflip. <laughs> never even got it. No, not a kickflip, an ollie. We were just trying to jump. What? Yeah, couldn't do it. Damn. We were just too. We were we were more sports guys. So True. We, yeah. Every once in a while, we as a group at a sleepover get gay ideas. Yeah. Be like, maybe we should get into skating. The skate. try it. Our bodies were just too. True. Yeah. We were, we were like, no, nah, we play basketball. You guys be on the board like. Yeah. yeah. Break down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. I mean, this is it. I think we did it. That's it. I think That's we a good did it pod. again. Doesn't matter how much. You got to get one of those. I do. If I'll you break my, it, my I'm nephew's not break, track. I'm not break it. For sure, not going to. Tater's going to be pissed. Dude. I'm not going to break. I'll get a loop. I had a loop earlier. Tater's coming down. He's going to be pissed. Loop. Yo, loop. Whoa. Come on now. That was pretty good, Matt. Come on, man. Get a loop over there. Oh, you're going to free him. I wanted to launch that thing. I know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Tater's shit sucks. <laughs> it's fucked off, dude. I was, I was trying to make heads or tails of it, man. I, the tape man's been going to the country club where I was swimming yesterday. Really? It's pretty great. That's awesome. He's the Jackie Robinson of that fucking swimming pool. Really? Yeah, they That's don't know nice. what to make of. <laughs> Tate's just hitting the diving board. Oh, they got Although a diving he's board. Been ba- he's been banned from the water slide. For what? There's a rule: if you can't if you can't swim, you can't use the water slide. Now That's he fucked used up. to be able to go down with his swimmies on. That's fucked. If you up. need if you need swimmies, you can't. So now his sister can. Tate cannot. That's fucked up, man. He's yeah. He doesn't take kindly to it. Can you go down with him? I'm not sure. I haven't been there with him yet. I'm excited to get in there. Do you ever put not? You shouldn't do this with him, obviously. But you ever put your butt cheeks on a water slide and pull your bathing suit down and go just butt cheek on the water slide, <laughs> dude? You go so much fucking faster. <laughs> you go so much fucking faster. It's dude, it's did night I tell you day. I fell down that fucking slide? Did I tell no. you? No. No, I had uh in Mississippi on the on the Burt tour. No, I didn't say this. No, we got a fucking giant inflatable <gasps> water slide. Dude, they go high as shit. By the way, so high. I saw one the and other you had day. To climb up this like. My feet were soaked. I was just in the pool. Got out. I was like, all right, I'll fucking climb up this thing. At the top, dude, which, by the way, is like vertical. There's just two dude, ropes. I, I just saw one of these the other day. I said, well, how of the- course at the top. Was it like inflatable stairs? That, yeah, or they at least no, it's hard? inflatable like little blocks. Dude, it, it, look, I got to the top. That's when my feet gave out. You got a little... Uh, uh. <laughs> I was hanging with both arms. Let go. My foot got caught in the thing. <laughs> I, dude, I felt hard as shit. Yeah, dude. And then I was like... The adrenaline. Otherwise, it would have been hurt. That you fall. Hurt. You at least fall down I, a slide. No, you I fall fell down the it? steps, dude. Oh no! <laughs> I fell down the no. fucking ladder. What? Thank, thank Christ, nobody saw. <laughs> the adrenaline got me up, though. I was like, that's one of the more embarrassing things I've ever done. Oh my, that's hot, dude. No I saw one, one saw. It was like a fucking like. It, it was high like as a fuck, story, dude. dude. It was it, crazy. At least, at least, yeah, it was high as shit. Then I, you know, dusted myself off and climbed <laughs> back up there. You got back up there. It's scary as fuck up there. Yeah, dude. It was very scary I up there. I got dr- up there, it was me and Norman, and he was like, I was fucking out of breath, dude. This yeah. thing is hard to get up. Dude. It was scary up I there. I spied one the other day. I said that. I was like, that's crazy how high that fucking inflatable water I didn't like it, but I fell down, and if there is drone footage, they might have it. Oh, that'd be terrible. Which could be so fucking funny. Of coming down the thing. Yeah. Did you go, did you like catch a ledge at all, or like how'd you catch yourself? I There's two ropes along the sides. So when my feet went out, I was just 
literally just straight. Oh. And then I let go, and I tried to like stop it with my foot, which just went straight up. Oh, no. I mean, it was a bad fall. Oh, my God. It was a crazy looking fall. Would you lay? <laughs> no you one saw it. I landed, and I was like, <laughs> no one noticed. What? I can get away with this. Holy shit. Other than Norman. Norman must have heard it. Yeah. Well, that's the only person. <laughs> yeah, but he can't tell anybody. Yeah, true. We're like, hey, Shane fell. Uh, yeah, no, you, you need footage. You need falling f- down. That's a movie. <laughs> Fall. Autumn. <laughs> it's like, all right, dude. <laughs> That's no shade at Norman. Norman's a good boy. Oh, he's a funny boy. He is funny as fuck. All right. I got on Cork and Vicious shit. Yep. I'm going to pee. Probably them going to piss. Here. I'm going to hit You're down. you going to shit down here? You go high. I'll go low. Yeah. I'll go up to my parents' bathroom and my mom, when I'm walking up. Don't go in there. Get out of there. <laughs> and I go, shut up, mom. I I'm slam the door. I'm a basement dweller. Yeah. I shit in the basement. I shit in the basement. Dude, now when Maya takes a dump, she makes me, I showed her like, she, her feet don't touch, so I showed her like a squatty potty where I hold her feet up. Every time she dumps down, she goes, hold my feet, hold my feet. I have to lift <laughs> her feet up. She says, <laughs> it's so fun. Hold my feet, hold my feet. Yes. Kids nice. shitting does rule. Dude, it's crazy. They're not sure what's going on. There's no shame. Dude, they go. Their belly, they, they man, like mechanically push their stomach. Although there's it's shame so when they shit their pants. They don't like that. But yeah. when they're hitting the toilet, they're fucking pumped. It's they're all like, everyone come in and check this, check this shit out, dude. Yeah. And then you go, damn, son, where'd you find this? Yes, sir. All right, that's the end of a podcast. That's Let's a good go. podcast. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Adios. Thank you guys. Loop to the end, of course. <laughs> you know how they edit clips together where it's like. <laughs> Yeah, they got me on one of those. You know how they get Macho Man with those? Yeah, they go. <laughs> <laughs> they, got me, they got me with one. Yeah. Where it was like the mushroom kicks in. He's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, there's one that's going around now of old school Memphis, Tennessee Macho Man where he's cutting a promo and it says when you're drunk on Coors Light telling your nieces and nephews about it. And he's like, I played baseball. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was very good at it. <laughs> yeah, it's like an old, old Macho Man promo. <laughs> threw his arm out and he was so athletic he taught himself how to throw with the other arm and move from pitcher to catcher yeah Damn. he's like yeah i'll just do it with the other one meanwhile <laughs> with my good arm i'm like i throw like a girl dude they right? hit, hitting a homer off of him and him just being like god, god <laughs> i told you not to call the slider is this the pitcher losing his shit yeah you gave it away you gave it away you no know i don't like the crowd so have you ever been to Europe? They just don't have no. air conditioning. Yeah. It's just like a wet But it's mist. hot down there ass. now, right? Now like, it's isn't it hotter hot. than you yeah. do? Well, yeah. 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 You're watching a bunch of Scottish people being like, I thought it was going to be gray and cold the entire time they lived there. And now it's just fucking hot and sweet. I think about this <laughs> Scotland joke you have. I would walk through every day to go to my shows. I'd walk through this giant park. Yeah. All the dogs are off leash. Yeah, crazy. All the dogs are off leash. And the Scottish dude, I'm smoking a joint with, they go, Man, how are the dogs so well behaved here? And just matter of fact, he goes, beat the shit out of them. And we go, oh, okay. That probably works. That was a real guy. That guy said that. And I was like, what? And he's like, it's good for training. It's good to train your dog like that. Uh, the Jets, the bird joke. Yeah. Bird joke about the dog. Yeah. yeah. About like the dog gets hyped with you. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, God yeah. damn, Jets goes, cost me another goes, game. Who's this like, guy? We gonna fight this yeah. guy? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah fucking Jets. Yeah. Uh. He's like, because you don't know that psycho shit goes through the leash and downloads onto that dog. Yeah, yeah that's the, the tunnel. Like, this, this is, why is we what we live in. for. <laughs> One of my favorite bird jokes, dude. Yeah, yeah. That uh, she's a my dog's an idiot. Are either y'all hype on the alien stuff right now? I mean, it's or funny that it's no one gives a shit. Yeah, it's I funny that the American government was like, hey, not only do we have spacecrafts, we have the pilots. And everyone yeah. was like, pass. Yeah. <laughs> they go, I heard Hunter Biden was driving 70 on crack. <laughs> <laughs> Even the aliens were like, zip, zip, zip. Dude, like, I was doing my impression of the aliens being excited to be announced. <laughs> you know when you do it, you, you know when you do a guest set and then no one cares. This, this pop's gonna yeah. be insane. He's like, he was like, <laughs> you guys, this is gonna be crazy. Just watch. Here it comes. <laughs> Aliens and everyone's like, I don't care. <laughs> Boo! Boo! There you go. Oh shit! So that's it for us, I guess. Yeah. That's all our time. W- dating is weird. What else do I have? <laughs> going, I'm single. What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> I'm just bombing. And it gets it. Imagine killing in a second language. I, yeah, it blows I can't my imagine. mind. I can't imagine. 
just me being like, Ooh, yeah. and was laughing. <laughs> yeah. In English, I'm like, dude, I don't know how this is going to go. Imagine billing it, though, selling the tickets, and then just faking it. Yeah. <laughs> just making noises. <laughs> In Italy, I'm like, He's sold out of theater. Going to China. Yeah. <laughs> and just be like, Big Mom, Jingy, Jing Jong, huh? They go, Mr. Soda, everyone very excited about your first Mandarin performance. Yeah. I go, just stand back. <laughs> the night before, you're like, oh, me, I should have studied. I'm just in my, I'm in my hotel going like this. Me, ni hao ma. Fuck it, I'm going to wing it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jing Jong, Jingle. <laughs> you just did a very racist macho man. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen those? Have you seen those non-playable characters? <laughs> Whatever that shit is. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen those ladies that do it? It's I've crazy. watched it, yeah. What There's one it? lady named Pinky Doll. She's on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. She's the goat. You she's, like it. She, well, she, no, she's the it's, black it's, or Spanish yeah, lady, black, right? Yeah. And she goes, wow, gang gang. <laughs> gang wow, <laughs> gang gang. Ice cream, so good. So yeah, strong. Oh, so strong. Good. Like, <laughs> oh, ride it like a cowgirl. Ride it like a cowgirl. So I was doing Yeah, Damn, you've been watching that. What's her name? Pinky girl, pinky girl something. I've yeah, been doing crazy. them at home. I've been doing my own for Katie. While she's watching TV, I'll stand next to the TV and I'll go like this. I'm sorry, does that have cilantro in it? I'm sorry, does that have cilantro in it? <laughs> gang, gang. Gang, gang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, bloop, 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 bloop. I've been racking up. Hee-haw, yeah. It's the guy who feel like a cowgirl in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the guy who feel like a robot. She takes a hair curler and pops popcorn. I've done some deep diving, boys. yeah. <laughs> We found a video of her yelling at her kids in the middle of it in French, <laughs> and I think she's Quebecois. But oh, she, because you were just like, in Montreal, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, "Oh, thanks, ask him so good." <laughs> <laughs> Gang, 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 gang. Time, I think her kids. I think there's a clip of her kids shitting himself because she goes like in French. She goes like, "That's disgusting." You're five years old because she's like, "Your cinq, faire ça fait si fort. And then she tries to rush off, but it's so funny when she speeds up. And she goes, "Gang, gang, gang, gang." Ask him so good. <laughs> and so then I spent a week in Chicago just doing my own NPCs, trying to annoy Katie. Yeah, that's where funny. I was going like. Moon crisps. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> shit that didn't even make sense. Let's go moon crisps. Well, howdy, partner. Well, howdy, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than bothering your woman. Oh, over and over. a joke that burrows in. Lady was trying to watch Dunkirk. Oh, I was yeah. on her ass. The whole movie. What, what, I was like, oh, my fucking boat's not here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, what does you mean you're not in the British <laughs> military? Oh, it's fucking cold out, isn't oh, it? It's a crowded day and you got one freaking blanket. <laughs> or Jason Statham in Dunkirk where he's like, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take these boats. We're going to get a bunch of fishermen. And then we're going to go back. <laughs> we're going to go back to the UK. Sometimes you put on Yacht Rock. I'm going to put on some Yacht Rock that you would think is a black dude. Yeah. But actually is a white dude. And sometimes it's soulful. This is a man. He just recently passed away by the name of Bobby Caldwell. Okay. I heard the name. And I thought he was black by his name. This is Yacht Rock? Yeah. Why isn't this just called jazz? Because you Okay, I, everybody know this is a great song, but yeah. Yacht Rock. He's uh, white. You know what's funny? Chappelle I, just talked about this when he passed away. He was like Chappelle's neighbor, Bobby Caldwell. Or was? is yeah, somebody was yeah. That's he was insane. just described that song, how We're, good that song was, and then how every black person yeah. was like, "That motherfucker's white." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm finding out yeah, just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's what it is. It's it, Yacht Rock is a lot of it is white dudes you think are black. Dude, knowing Chappelle. Is neighbors with Caldwell with, was neighbors was with along Caldwell? those yeah in Ohio I think just yeah. showing up and be like man I keep thinking you're black <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Bobby Caldwell was white until he died man and I lived <laughs> next door to him for forty years that's it that's <laughs> that's exactly it <laughs> I, I, I thought he was just a white guy that took care of the place I didn't know he was saying I keep forgetting <laughs> Wow, thanks. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, this Rock's is what so I've good. Been... <laughs> Bobby Caldwell, so white. Somebody okay. was telling me there was one. I didn't see it. There was a white chick from like Germany that went and 
lived in like an African tribe, like huts. No and the way. guy had like three other wives. Oh, that's so <laughs> He just funny. had one German from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> he was the man. You want to say, that's a yeah. crazy He's thing to man, pull dude. on a pull. <laughs> yeah. Him coming back going, I know you are used to this living situation, yeah. but I have a new wife. And she's like, Danke! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Helga, just fucking giant white lady. Yeah, talking to the other guy, I was like, whoa, dude. I can't yeah. believe that word. I got a how fucking you, white lady in there. How did you do that? He walks out, he's like, they are not getting along. Cats and dogs. He just makes Cats the face. And dogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm the chief now. Guys, look, look. Yeah, Come yeah. On. yeah. Dude, even the chief is jealous. <laughs> how did you do that? He goes, Internet. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. How did you? How did you get that big white guy? And he goes, instant messenger. <laughs> 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 